Yay! It's your girl Eunice and definitely actually Fridays. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> so guys, I am going to make for you something that you have often, you know I only bring for you first hand things. Very authentic guys. So yes, I'm going to make for you something which is um tea spices. I'm going to make it myself and I'm going to make it in a way that you can preserve it and all you can do is just pick and put in your tea anytime that you feel like taking something spicy not our usual dry tea that we always take so guys welcome back to the channel guys I mean is it your first time watching a video here I mean if it's yes please already subscribe because just click the right video the one you've been longing for is right here so you're already on the right channel guys don't even try to leave let's wash our mortar before we can go ahead and make our tea spices the most traditional way but also the most <sighs> nice aroma way <laughs> let's do it guys so this is a mortar and a pesto you can see this is for pounding so all i'm doing is just to clean it because you know this is used for many things we use this for pounding a lot of things, ground nuts, um, any food by the way. So we use this a lot. So the thing is, before you start using it, make sure you wash it, especially inside. You can leave the outside since you're not going to even use it. <laughs> I'm joking, we wash everywhere. <laughs> and get some banana leaves because we are going to do it from just under my shed there. So guys, this is our garden. I failed to put back something here. If you remember, I had bow here at some point. But then I removed it and we preserved, if you remember that video. If you missed, please go back and watch. This was the garden for the vegetable. And then right ahead there is where we are going to get the banana leaves from. And of course also right there is our potatoes, sweet potatoes I mean. So it's not yet mature though, but in like um, a week or two we shall be eating that one. And I'll stop buying sweet potatoes again. Now let's get some um, lemongrass from here. I hope you know this is a tea grass, like it's a tea spice. Let me know what you guys use this for, because for us we use it majorly for tea. And that is the reason we actually planted it here. But it's also a snake repellent. You know here we have a lot of snakes. So somehow we made a line like this. And actually there are still more. Though they are not as big as these ones, but it's serving two purposes here one snake repelling and then of course two for our tea so let's use it for the tea purpose now <laughs> Even if I'm just cutting, the aroma is still there, guys. This has a very beautiful aroma, you know that. <laughs> Some other there we go, so let's go wash it as well.
Let me get the garlic, I mean the ginger, we also wash it. So the thing about this grass is it actually itches a lot. I'm already feeling it. It has scratched my hand and it's itching. But nevertheless, let's go make some tea spices already. <laughs> All I'm doing is just to cut this ginger into pieces because I'm going to pound it. So I'm only trying to ease my work. So that pounding is not very hard. So I'm going to add in my lemon grass as well and pan them together. So guys, the extent to which it is now soft is all fine. Meanwhile, for people who have blenders, you can also choose to just blend this thing, you get. It's just that here in the village, we don't have power for blending and all that kind of thing. So we choose to pound it. But of course, blenders work better. So guys, I'm picking this because I'm going to use it for sun drying. You can see our weather is good today. So let's dry it already. And ginger, of course, everything fresh as you noticed. Now this by the way when you've done it like this you can even just use it fresh like this but in case maybe you're going away and maybe where you're going you, you would really like this kind of spice what you can do is to dry it just like I'm doing here then you'll just be picking just a little bit and drop it in your tea so you make it boil with it and of course it's going to give a very beautiful aroma of course. So guys, did you know that this could happen? I mean, did you ever have an idea that you can make your spice just like this? Homemade like I just did, guys, because yes, the traditional way, this is how we mix. Meanwhile, you could also add in some other spices if you have, like any other herb for tea if you have. Yes, you can still add in and you just dry it like I'm just doing, guys. Otherwise, have you done something? Are you going to try it out? Please let me know if you've tried how it turned out, yes? I want to know if you've learned and how perfect you just did it, guys. Thank you for watching.